Hi, Crystal here. Today we are crocheting the Lila shawl and I'll be using 650 yards of number four medium worsted weight yarn. I used one hank each of Barocco weekend cotton in the color seedling and lavender and pebble for the finished shawl. If you would like a larger shawl, you'll need more yarn. I'm working with my five millimeter crochet hook my Peach Odyssey. Okay, to start with the magic circle, I'm going to chain two, which will not count as a double crochet, and then place nine double crochets inside the circle. Okay, once I have my nine double crochets, I'll pull my tail to form my semicircle. Oh, I'm missing one. Let me go ahead and add my ninth double crochet here. Okay, this completes row one of our triangle shawl. Now we're gonna go on to row two. Our center stitch will be the middle stitch, the fifth stitch. Okay, so turn your work, and we're gonna work back this way now. We'll start with a chain four. This chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. Then I'm going to go back into the same stitch and place another double crochet. So I have a little V-stitch here. So the third chain, the fourth chain, and our double crochet. We have three stitches. Chain one, skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the following stitch. Okay, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch chain one, double crochet back in the same stitch. That's our center tip there. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, and in our last stitch we're going to place a double crochet. Then we're going to chain one, and go back into the same stitch to place our last double crochet. This completes row two. Moving on to row three, we're going to turn our work and chain three. And then we're going to work in that first chain space there and place two double crochets. There we have our chain three that counts as our first double crochet and two more we placed in our chain one. Now we're gonna skip the double crochet and place two double crochets in the chain space. Skip the double crochet and place two double crochets in the next chain space. Now once we reach our center tip, we're going to place two double crochets, a chain one, and two more double crochets all in that center. Now we'll continue repeating, skip the double crochet and place two double crochets in the chain one spaces down the side here. Here on our ending, we have two double crochets in our chain four space, 
and then we're going to place a double crochet in the third chain of that chain four. Can be a little tricky to work into this one. Okay, so we're going to turn our work and go on to row four. We're going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet, and then go back into that same stitch and place two more double crochets. Now we'll double crochet in the next eight stitches before we get to our center space. Okay, once we make it to our center chain one, we're going to mini bean stitch. To do that, I'll insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert my hook back into the same stitch, and yarn over and pull up another loop. I'll have four loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all four loops, and then chain one, and then chain one again, so I have two chains here. Now I'll double crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay, once we get to our chain three here, we're gonna place three double crochets in the third chain. Usually once you get the first one in there, it's pretty easy to work the other ones in. Okay, that completes row four. Moving on to row five. Okay, for row five, turn your work and we're going to start with our chain four, which counts as our double crochet in chain one. Go back into the same stitch to place another double crochet. So we start with our V stitch there, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then we're going to chain one and skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. And we're going to keep repeating that across. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. We'll repeat that all the way down to our center tip. Okay, when we get to our center, we have a mini bean in two chains. So it's a little lopsided, but we're gonna chain one and we're gonna work into the chain that's right on top of the mini bean here. Not the first chain there, but the next one. We're gonna work a double crochet, a chain one, and double crochet back into that same stitch. And this is our center V stitch here for this row, row five. Then we'll skip the next stitch, which is the, the mini bean stitch technically. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And we'll just keep following our pattern like that. Okay, when we get to the end of our row here, in the third chain, we're going to place a double crochet, chain one, 
double crochet or V stitch for the end of this row. Okay, turn your work and let's start row six. Chain three and in the chain one place, place two double crochets. Then we'll skip the double crochet stitch next and work into the chain one space. Two more double crochets in the chain space. and keep repeating that pattern across. Skip double crochets and place two double crochets in the chain one spaces. All right, once we get to our center V-stitch, we're going to place two double crochets, a chain one, two double crochets, all in that same stitch. Then we'll continue with our pattern down the side, two double crochets in each chain one space. Okay, so at the end of our row here, we're going to place two double crochets in our chain four space. You might have to slide them over to find that chain three. In the third chain, you're going to place one double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to turn and work row seven, chain three, two double crochets back in that same stitch. And then we're gonna double crochet down the row to the center, which is 16 double crochets for this row. Okay, once we have double crochet down the row, when we get to our chain one center, we're going to mini bean and chain two. And then just continue double crocheting back up the row. Okay, when we get to the end, remember we're going to crochet into our third chain here. We're going to place three double crochets in that same third chain space there. Okay, turn your work for row eight chain four and double crochet in the same stitch. So we start with our V-stitch here. And 
and we're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And we'll repeat that all the way down the road till we get to our center space. Okay, so we've done our chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, and we're at our center. Here we have our mini bean with our chain two, so we are going to work in the top of the mini bean. So we're going to skip that first chain and work in the top of the mini bean stitch, which is the other chain. And we're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet back into the same stitch. So we have a V stitch at the center for this row. Then we do our chain one, skip one, and work into the next double crochet. And that's the center for this row eight repeat. And then we just continue again, chain one, skip one, double crochet back up the row to the end of this one. At the end of our row, we're going to work a V-stitch in our third chain, so that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet to end this row. Okay, so now for the rest of the shawl, you are going to repeat those last three rows, rows six, seven, and eight. So our next row would be a row six, which is where we start with the chain three, we place two double crochets in the chain spaces. We skip the double crochets and just work into the chain spaces. When we get to the center, you place two double crochets, a chain one, two double crochets. And on row six, you end with a single double crochet in the third chain. The next row is row seven repeat, which starts with a chain three. And then we put two double crochets in that same stitch. So we're starting with three double crochets on each row seven repeat. And then you just double crochet down the line. That center stitch is the mini bean stitch with chain two. Double crochet back up. And end with three double crochets in the third chain. So you're increasing on both ends there. And then your third row repeat is row eight, which starts with the chain four and the double crochet in the same, the V-stitch. This row you chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next, all the way down the, the line. When you get to the center mini bean stitches with the chain, the mini bean stitch with the chain two, you're gonna skip that first chain stitch, work into the top of the mini bean, and you're going to make a V-stitch there, which is the double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then you're going to skip the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. And you'll just keep repeating that back up the line, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next, till you get to the end. And in that third chain, you will place a V-stitch, which is your double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and all in the same stitch. Then your repeat starts over again, and you'll repeat another row six, row seven, and row eight until your shawl has grown to the length that you want.